All right, hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to another video. So it's been a little while, but today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use UMAP in chapter three so you can import POIs. So first thing you wanna do is click on the link in the description. That'll take you to this Google Drive link. And then here, you just want to download this just by clicking this download button. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna do that. Once you've downloaded that, you wanna hop into Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then press Install and then go to wherever you installed that. That'd be right here. And then you just want to press install add-on. It'll fill this Blender UMAP in for you. And then you just want to click on this check mark right here. Then you can close out of this. And I recommend deleting all of your stuff here by selecting all, press X and then press delete. And now you can press N on your keyboard and this little thing on the side will pop up. Then you want to go to UMAP and here you have your UMAP. So. I'm going to expand this a little bit so you guys can read this a little bit easier. So I know this looks a little bit complicated, but if you follow my steps, this should work perfectly. So first thing you want to do is go to your game path. For me, that is on my C drive. It's in the default install location, and it should be the same for most of you guys, unless you guys decide to install it into a custom place. In that case, you are going to have to find that. There's no exact place, but for everyone who's normal and did it default, it's going to be in your C drive program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, content, packs, and then you just wanna press accept. So for most people, when you put in the game path, there's gonna be a backslash after the path right here. As you can see, you want to delete that because for some reason it messes it up. So just make sure that's not there. Then you wanna click on this export path and set it to wherever you want it to export. It doesn't matter. You can just set it anywhere, make a folder for it. I have a folder called UMAP exports. So I'll just stick it right there, press accept. Next, you wanna click on use UE custom version. And then in here, you want to type in, in full caps, game underscore UE5 underscore one. It should look just like that. And then you want to click on this down arrow right here, press fill Fortnite AES keys. All this will appear. Then you wanna click it again and press download mappings for Fortnite. This one will take a little bit, so just give it like 30 seconds to load or whatever. And it will say Blender not responding. Don't worry about that, just give it a little bit. It just takes a little while. All right, once that's finally done, you wanna head over to the second link in the description and that'll take you to the download for F model. So from here, you just wanna click on whatever the latest version is. Um, it's just gonna be the top one. So for me, that's 4210. Just gonna click right here. Then scroll to the very bottom and click on this fmodel.zip. Set it to wherever you want to download. I'm just gonna do it in my downloads folder. Okay, so once you have your fmodel, you just wanna double click to open it. Give it a little bit to load. It'll find your Fortnite installation location and then fill in all of these. If it doesn't, and like I said earlier, you installed Fortnite to a custom path, you want to click on directory, selector, and then you can put in your path. But for me, I already have you know, Fortnite automatically detected. So if it doesn't automatically put all these here, just put in your Fortnite path. All right, now you wanna make sure this loading mode is set to all, then press load. All right, so once you're in here and all this is loaded, you want to click on packages and then search. And then here you want to type in dot umap. Press enter. And now you see you have every single umap in the game all right here. So obviously you gotta find whichever one you want. I don't know which one you want. So I'll just choose a random one over here. We'll just do this chop shop right here. So what you wanna do is right click, copy, and then package path without extension. Then you want to head back into Blender, and then here you wanna paste it into this package. And then you have this. And now the last thing you wanna do is press import. All right, so our UMAP has been imported. We can press N to close out of this menu right here. And let's take a look. So this is what we got. I don't actually know what this is. It's, it's a chop shop, but it's here. Um, so it doesn't look like it's textured, but all you have to do is click right here and this will add the textures. Just give it a second to load. All right, so it has finished texturing and this looks Great, everything as you can see here is textured. I'm not sure what these little yellow rings are meant to be. I guess that's something here, but um, yeah, here we have it. Everything is all textured and looking fine. 
So if this tutorial helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to join my Discord if you need help. Please don't comment on the YouTube video if you need help because it's really hard to talk through YouTube comments. It'd be much easier if you guys join my Discord and ask for help there. Okay, thank you.